Iacovos has caused more destruction than any force since the time of troubles, but his true objective has been a mystery until now. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Hembar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler for review of Mel Odom's The Sea Devil's Eye. The Sea Devil's Eye is a 2000 novel from Mel Odom in book three of the Threat from the Sea trilogy. It starts right where book two ends. The arcs of each book would make this work very well as one large book, actually. Um, and, and you can find an omnibus version of this series uh, with some awesome Raymond Swanland art. I'm not, I don't have much to say about this one besides the fact that everything is wrapped up. I felt it fell a little flat. Um, I think Sabina deserved a little bit, a bit of a better arc, and so did Laquiel. Um, but our main character gets a decent one, and that, that's probably the, my main concern, is that I've mentioned even uh, starting in book one, he's kind of a Mary Sue, and his biggest transformation is a problem that's not much of a problem. It always just comes off as really poorly done, unless it's done exceptionally well. So um, that's, that's kind of a, well unfortunate but there is more to read about this series actually there is a short story in dragon magazine i'll be reading that soon you won't hear about it on youtube probably unless you watch my weekly updates but i will be reviewing that on my blog which i do review all my forgotten realms stuff on the forgotten realms blog called forgotten realms reading.com where you can look up the forgotten realms lyceum but this one does deal with fate which you know is cool i like fate that's a pretty common fantasy novels myth nantar which is a cool city it's like the dranor but underwater there's more folk relations with great whales and seals and Sahagan. Um, almost felt like the second Avatar film in some ways. Uh, but we do get some final answers. We do find some truth. Um, our heroes finally meet the bad guys. And it's cool how separate they've been throughout the series, to be honest. Like, they don't meet until now. Uh, we do have some cool stuff here if you're a fan of Lathander or Eldath, even. Um, you know, stuff like that. And there's even a knight in paladin of Cormir, which is cool as well and a dwarf i like dwarf characters if i find out that malenti which are the sohagen that look like sea elves are only a thing if they're born near sea elves which is interesting but that's all i really have to say i'm liam williams i will catch you next time